beavers. Build dams. You know the Hoover Dam? A small explosion and fire have been reported at the Hoover Dam. The incident happened just after 10 a.m. Officials say a transformer blew. Visitors posted video to social media showing a large plume of smoke coming out of the base of the dam. That's what you're seeing here. The blaze was extinguished by the time Boulder City firefighters arrived. A spokeswoman says the blown transformer didn't harm the power grid and power is still being generated. Opened. Uh, it's still being generated. Open. So beavers build dams. my channel and in this video I've taken each one of the bills that's the one dollar five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar fifty dollar and a hundred dollar and I went ahead and folded them and I wanted to show you guys each one of them so you guys could see them all the fifty dollar bill they're pretty much much gone now you have seen them anymore <clears throat> Is what is on the $50 bill when you fold it. And the last one is the $100 bill. You have it. That is what you get when you fold the $100 bill. As you can see, it's like Looks like the Twin Towers are gone. The Twin Towers are pretty much on the $100 bill, $50 bill, $20 bill, $10 bill, and the $5 bill.
comes to counting for me. I got my master's in Recently, you may have noticed billionaires buying up land all across America. Raw land, farmland, anything they can get their hands on. when it comes to counting for me. Uh. So good. All we did is have a little powwow. I told him, I'm going to interject some things as I read this. You know, the Vatican... There's a bunch of angels that are coming into the mouth of a serpent. They're all little boys. Pedophilia stuff, you know, with uh, the hot dogs. The little boy energy that pit wants to corrupt. It doesn't mean there's not little boy energy in little girls, because there is. See, we're a mix mash of two different energies, good and evil. We're the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But a little boy... Good and evil. And then 
Jesus crucified in between the two thieves. St. Peter and Paul Basilica is right down the road here. But at the same time, thievers build dams. This is the Hoover Dam. Ian, Bud Light, 12-11, going into the twin party. Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Drive. If I give you this Bud Light, are you up for whatever happens? Nah. Hi, John. John B. Kelly Drive? What? Never seen that before. What the hell? John B. Kelly Drive? <laughs> That's not the name of it. Look, it just X'd out of it. Oh, I think that was a mess up. Look, it's gone. X marks the spot. X, X at. That's crazy. John, there's no John anywhere. Besides. All right. Benjamin Franklin. I don't see any John anywhere. What's up with all the blue spots? when he was about to die. Now remember, in John 21, 19, Peter's death would glorify God. So how did Peter die? I beseech you, the executioners, crucify me thus, with the head downward and not otherwise. And the reason wherefore, I will tell unto them that hear. So Peter wanted to be crucified on an upside down cross. Now, how does that glorify God? Well, it's key for understanding, and Peter told us while he hung there. Concerning which the Lord saith in a mystery, unless ye make the things of the right hand as those of the left, and those of the left as those of the right, and those that are above as the and those that are behind as those that are before, ye shall not have knowledge of the kingdom. So what are the keys to the kingdom? It's a mystery, a secret, not obvious to the understanding. It could be staring you right in front of your face and you wouldn't even know it. Purposely kept in the dark, silently mocked, hunted for dinner. It's a mystery that unlocks the Bible. It's that unlocks eternal life. Twenty fourteen there was a little stint where I like needed a few drinks. I was like, uh I can't handle this. But I I mean I can see like <laughs> I think I need a drink. It's like, oh my God. That's pretty crazy, man. Look at what this stuff is. There's a cup. there's a drink because as Jacob Israel says Uranus is a planet drinking from the cup
Okay, so that's coming. That's the first woe. One woe is back. But they told us two more woes. Okay, so see, that's the kickoff. That's pretty crazy, man. Look at what this stuff is. Okay, so that's coming. That's the first woe. One woe is past. Okay, behold, there come two more woes. Okay, so see, that's the kickoff. Was on March March twenty third, twenty twenty three. That was the first time. The first time that I went into the art museum, I'm recording this video over here, but yet in my video over here at the present moment, 30 plus years ago, is this video here with four heads riding into the sunset then I went into the art museum was March March 23rd 2023 the first well one well is past Okay, behold, there come two more woes. Okay, so see, that, that's the kickoff. This is the final vote. We'll finally know which egg is loved most. Reese's or Cadbury. First time... This is the second time. The first time. October 9th, 2023. This is the footage from March 23rd, 2023. This is from 10, 9, 2023. I will be with you again. It happened again to, to me, to my own, my own footage from seven months prior. Winded up lining up again, just with the four heads and the archway and all the colors bleeding into one, four heads, archway, Four heads, pillars, pillars. I know, right? I feel safe. Thank you.
Who all the backup you got? Like all the backup I got. Like show you all the stuff. I can back it up. That's the first. Whoa! 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 I mean, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I. I just want you to be ready. I want to be ready. First blow. I was like, I don't want to feel like I didn't. Whoa. Talk to you. And today the conversation I had. Why is he doing the same thing like, that my image is doing? My guys, imagery. I'm worried about you. You can't have this and other worlds that you're living in. You can't. It has to be. This is the world. It has to be your foundation for everything. And you can't be made right with God because you're fasting a lot and you're only eating certain things because you think that's what God wants you to do. That's not all right. The first woe, one woe is past. Okay, behold, there come two more woes. Okay, so see, that's the kickoff. Here's the second time that I went in there recording. Was on the first time that I went in before I went into room 100. the same scene that I walked through the second time around. The first time around that I went in was on October 9th, 2023. That's coming. That one woe is past. Okay, behold, there come two more woes. Okay, so see where that... I stand alone. I'm showing you the video from three twenty three twenty twenty three right here. I'm showing you that video as I'm recording this exact same video singing the same song that you just heard as I'm recording this live with the X app, Planet X. Fast forward over here, seven months later, you're gonna have one, two, three, four. You're gonna have an archway, you're gonna have an archway. But this is my footage on 10 9 2023. The same song that you just heard. Fast forward over here, seven months later, you're going to have one, two, three, four. You're going to have an archway, you're going to have an archway. This is my footage. <laughs> this is also my footage. And this is the previous 30 plus years ago. So I put this together and I'm walking through the art museum for the second time. And my footage from seven months ago is lining up with the exact moment, but also from the past 30 years ago. Okay, behold, there come two more woes. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. But it was only as soon as I lifted the screen up high 
because I was seeing the moment. The reason why I lifted it up, I'm seeing the moment. And wait a minute, let me get this closer. So I will be with you again is the song. I just want you to be ready. I want to be ready. I don't want to feel like I didn't tell you. And today, the conversation I had with two friends of mine, I was like, guys, I'm worried about you. representation of it now imagine you have to face an overwhelming horde of locusts i mean can you imagine how many of holographic images i mean who knows project blue beam right what if it's like a cell phone 
like you know how I can find my cell phone by track my cell phone well what if your eye that goes to the pit you haven't been cut free of it and it's going to go find you the locust that is attached to yeah, you the worm stoppers. that's been feeding off you when the pit opens what if it goes and finds you personally because it's hold on a second you know the worm that's attached to you John Clark always talks about what on your body as a man could possibly represent a worm and then considering the hell talk it's better for you to pluck out your eye than it is so you can enter into heaven than it is for you to be thrown in hell where the fire never is quenched and the worm never dies if the worm never dies and you're in hell and you have a worm that's attached to you your whole life keeping a record on you you know when you watch porn and all that stuff doesn't that mean everybody that's in hell has a worm um, male and female I've wondered about that got a Bluetooth line to where you are I don't know but it would make sense, wouldn't it? Like, it's going to find you as a cell phone. Because you're still attached to it. Right. I'll always be attached to my worm. Um, you know. But here, this worm here. Is hidden. You see, this worm is inside of the belly. It's inside of the mouth of the serpent. Because the mouth of the serpent is of a giant. Right here. You don't believe it? What's that? You don't believe it? Well, you know it's free to enter. You know, the free society. It's free to enter. But, if you do enter, it won't let me get past there to show you the 666 upside down. Well, you can see what it is from here. If it's a 999 upside down, it's going to be a 666 right side up. And it's in together again there you go I broke through the barrier it's where beavers build dams this is the same spot be in bud light beavers build dams it's crazy stuff ain't it they obviously had that um, <clears throat> John Cleck made sure that the event that they had, they had tents up to look like the beaver teeth because it looks exactly like beaver teeth. And beavers build dams, so there's the dam the beaver built. And there's this AI looking bot thing. Little reptilian drinking from the cup of fornication. When you break the wall, the uh, partition, the barrier, the two become one. So it's it's like flow detection. So there's more flow because the two became one. They're um, mandibles. This is what they are, mandibles. They're man the balls. <laughs> They're mandibles. That's why it's a bug. The chompers are right there. Right there. That's why it's the 666. And it's a serpent rising from the sea. It obviously has a wounded head. And does, does live. Does live. The Vatican City. St. Peter and Paul Basilica. 
There's the Garden of Eden setting, the desert, fountains of water, 12 trees, the tomb. That tree has been uprooted. This tree has been cut down. And there's 10 others, so there's 12 all together. And, you know, SpongeBob is over here, and Wendy, she's yelling at SpongeBob is here. Wendy's over here yelling. She's yelling at SpongeBob like she always does right here. SpongeBob! This old goofy SpongeBob here with the eyeballs. And then the squareness in the mouth, and the party favor in his mouth. Plankton. But also, oh, look at the cross. I've never seen that. Look at that. I wonder if I turn it upside down, will it be Peter? No, just this way. There you go. Yep. Well, yeah, it is upside down. There you go. Upside down, Peter. And then right side up, Jesus. This is the R F I D chip you see all the blood you see the, the splatter everywhere because this is the needle the hypodermic needle the syringe And it's also the sword, Jacob, Jacob's sword. The sword part, Stephen James showed me that. I didn't, I didn't do that on my own. And then going all the way down. Horde that sits upon many waters. The female. With the hair like a woman. Split tongue. Horde that rides the beast, getting drunk off the, the wine. But if you've been sealed, it you're done. You cut the Bluetooth line, it can't even find you. I mean, I'm just throwing this stuff out there for your brains. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's watch it. Oh, this is crazy. This is wild. Okay, here we go. So World War Z takes place there is a time coming where evil will run wild where it's supposed to be Philadelphia center city the way in Pendle the time is upon us all there is no escaping what's to come to NBCPhiladelphia.com, a much-hyped new film, World War Z, opened on Friday. It's set in Philadelphia. But it wasn't made here. Right. But it's to look like it's in Philadelphia. Because it's letting you know, it's Philadelphia. There is only one chance for survival. 
you must be made whole through Christ. Or you will be destroyed by the evil to come. Who will have the faith to stand in the face of evil? Only those who have turned back to the Lord Jesus. Okay, okay I want to show you something. This is not an accident. Watch this. Now, uh, see, I see, I see supplies, guys. I'm gonna just gonna tell you something. That thing I they were. See on her collarbone the two triangles, and then as soon as the predator turns away from her, it opens the door, representing the two that made full circle, and now the real predator is coming out of the door. Just like the pit's opening, the real predator is going to come out of the pit, you guys. That's that the whole system started with twin female. They made sure she was naked, naked, and you could see on her collarbone the two triangles, and then as soon as the predator turns away from her, it opens the door, representing the two that made full circle, and now the real predator is coming out of the door. Just like the pit's opening, the real predator is going to come out of the pit, you guys. That's what's been hunting us since the beginning. It's coming out of the pit. Do you understand? This is no accident that the kid turns around to face it. The only reason these zombies don't get the kid because he was infected with something. Now Im imagine you. We're infected with the Holy Spirit. To them. We're sealed. By God. We have the seal of God in us. So if you're sealed. We're like an infection to them. They don't want you. What are the odds. That in this scene. Watch. This kid's right. What does he have in his hand? A piece of wood. Look at this. Who will have faith to stand in the face of evil so look now he turns in the face he's facing them now Brad Pitt sees him only those who have turned back to the Lord Jesus okay so now let me just set things up for you so now Brad Pitt is in some facility where they have, you know, like bioweapon stuff. And he decides to give himself a shot of like tuberculosis and infect himself. And then he's willing to stand face to face. Now, just look at the scene. Look how they use reflections in this scene. I mean, this is crazy, guys. This is just nuts that this is actually happening right now. I just believe this. There, I don't believe in coincidence. Not at all. This is actually happening right now. I just believe this there I don't believe in coincidence not at all especially with part three of the video there I mean what you're gonna see scripturally is mind destroying here you go let's see with part three of the video there I mean what you're gonna see scripturally part three of the video there I mean what you're gonna see scripturally is mind destroying here you go now here he is he's got a face think of you facing a scorpion and have been sealed unto the day of redemption skinny pop enjoy endless sleep
and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Okay, so that is very, very crazy stuff. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Second month, seventeenth day month. <clears throat> Here's what it is. My faith tells me I'm going to go in here again. You're going to see imagery from U2's videos. I don't even know which ones are going to play. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to play another U2 random shuffle with U2 and the videos have lined up with my imagery. I'll do it again.
video. Should be on the world news. Injuries could not line up with YouTube. Third time, part two of playing a random YouTube show for the third time of doing the XF. common sense in life with uh, your five senses of experience through empiricism. So we see right here things that are tangible, things that consist of evidence when it comes to our Christian faith. February 29, 2024. Faith. It's all about faith. All of this is what? Logical. It's reasonable. Logical and reasonable. First Peter chapter 3. First Peter chapter 3. Notice in verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So that faith which is things hoped for, it is reasonable. See that? That's what the author said. All right, let's. So my faith. Here's what it is. My faith tells me I'm going to go in here again. You're going to see imagery from YouTube's videos. I'm going to play another YouTube random shuffle. The videos that lined up with my imagery. I see some things lining up with my own imagery. So this time around. It's like a 2-3 bypass. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to play another U2 random shuffle. Genesis 6. My faith tells me I'm going to go in here again. 
you're going to see imagery from U2's videos. I don't even know which ones are going to play. I don't know when the... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what song is going to play. I don't know when the commercials are going to play. All I know is that Chief John Marshall here is at the front stage and I'm your tour guide. And this video should be on the world news. Front page. And it should be on the nightly news. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, right? I'm sorry. I've got you. I've got you. Anguish, affliction. According to faithbythword.org, woe means grief, anguish, affliction, 
The three woes of Revelation are the final judgment God pronounces on the evil inhabitants of the earth in order to spur them to repentance. Revelation 9 verse 20. When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? This is actually happening right now. I just believe this. There, I don't believe in coincidence. Not at all. Especially with Part three of the video. Here you go. Now, here he is. He's got a face. Think of you facing a scorpion. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Okay, so that is very, very crazy stuff. It's very, very crazy stuff of God in their foreheads. <laughs> Neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. I'm going to play you something from, from the Bible right now from Joel. Okay, I'm going to play you uh, one chapter from Joel. I'll let Max McLean read. Just, I want you guys to understand that if you're not on the rock, you better not have, oh, well, I'm sort of on the rock, but I got this other stuff. 100% 
no lion. Remember that? My entire testimony? Turn it the opposite direction. That is being on the rock. Jesus is the Petra. Peter is the Petros. He has the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So the two can be one, become one. Hang on one sec. I think this would be a really good time to show you Moses the pug did a really great little video to show the simplicity of it. And I think I'm going to show you Moses' video right now because I think it's very important. Hang on one sec. Okay, guys, uh, the reason I'm going to play this video is I just remember in the back of my mind, he did a really good job showing you the simplicity of the system being to conversion is literally turning the opposite direction and turning so among you are a prophet, I the Lord will make myself known to them in dreams and in visions. And if what they say comes to pass, then fear them. You know, in other words, have a respect because God is with them. So my faith. Here's what it is. You know, this is the second time. My faith tells me I'm going to go in here again. You're going to see imagery from YouTube's videos. You two and the videos have lined up with my lined up my imagery. I'll do it again. As my wife texts me exactly 48 hours after I'm recording this and she's saying this, 48 hours later, exactly at 2.29 p.m., saying, I'm a double tonight. Yay! You know, like working a double, working two shifts in one day as a hard worker. She said that the very second that I said, I'll do it again. That building. That building. As you can see, it's 228 right now. <clears throat> well, my cell phone. However, it's 2.29 here because I'm exactly 48 days later from the time that I said I was going to do it again. Because when I said that, here we go with the original unedited God Part 2. So when, when I'm thinking of three things that, are, that you may say to yourself first time you see it. When I first seen the art museum footage on 323, 2023, my wife's birthday, Denise, Juliana, I said, whoa, 
right? Whoa. I can't believe my image, my, my footage is lining up with YouTube. Now, I, I did go in there for a second time and I recorded my own footage, but I didn't do any live videos from, from YouTube. I was just playing my own stuff um, for the second time. But part two, which is right here, God part two, because that's the name of the song of U2 and I started with because I picked an actual song first, unlike the first time. The first time was a random shuffle from U2. Whatever it was, it was. Second time around, I wanted to play God Part 2 because it lined up with Part 2. But first, there was a video that... First, a video popped I'll do. I mean, uh, first, it wasn't a video. Then, then I searched for the video of part two, God part two, which was, uh, technically it was the third time around, but it, it definitely is the second time that I played music videos from YouTube and it lined up again. So let's just say the third time happens and the third time that I do it, I'm going to go down, look at that one, two, three. Let's see. Can you make that stuff up? I'm looking at one, two, three. As I'm talking about. Never even noticed that it was highlighted in white ever in my life. So, one, two, three. Third time around. First time. First time was March 23rd, 2023. The second time, technically, was October 9th, 2023. But God Part 2, the second time of something that's like, whoa, now it's nine different artists. And all of their videos are lining up after an hour straight of me recording nonstop. That's a wow factor. Third time around, that can come quicker than the distance between the first time and the second time, which was 11 months. If I was to do it again for a third time, but this time I picked the song, not only do I pick the U2 song, because you two has to be the one to finish it off. Yeah, all right, so I got that. You two is going to be the song. But what date should it be? What time should it be? What room should I go into? Well, here's my ticket. This was the first time I went into the art museum. I don't know how well you can see it, but the ticket was on Thursday, March 23rd. It's a three o'clock appointment to 3.30. The first time the first woe for me um, was pretty crazy stuff that I just showed you that lined up perfectly at the same exact second. There's just no way it's a coincidence. So doing it for a third time, I would have to say it's going to be a U2 song. It should be on some type of an anniversary. Mm, 323-2024, 365 days later. That makes sense. And then I played a Powerball. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten days later on my seventh year anniversary. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go in on the year, one year anniversary of my, my wife, the birthday, because she didn't open up her gift yet. Uh, maybe I'll play the Powerball on that day, the stone rejected numbers and the numbers that I've played before that were, that hit for a million dollars, but it was one notch off. Maybe I'll do it that, that day. And then if that doesn't hit on the April 2nd, which is my seventh year anniversary, uh, but it makes more sense to go into the art museum and record another wow factor, but this time I do it live. Do it live. I walk in. Maybe I'll look around for about a half hour. I'll consistently just live chit chat, whatever. Maybe I'll have a cup of coffee. Who knows? I'll sit down, relax, and have a cup of coffee. And um but let it play through all the way. But I'm going to test the X app to make sure that the live stream comes in clearly beforehand. And um, so maybe after about a half hour, I'll go in there. And then the room that I'm going to pick, I might even go in there and scope out the rooms first before I go in and do a third go round of, yep, it, no question. It's going to be you two. Don't know what song yet. Not exactly sure what day, but I'm pretty much leaning towards the 323-2024 to be the third time playing a YouTube shuffle song beginning, starting, starting with YouTube. Because the first two songs, the second time around was God Part 2 and then In God's Country. So that's perfect. Perfect. The name God is in both of the second ones. So the third time around, which would come quicker because it would be faster than 11 months. Because the second time, I had faith. I believed that I was going to go in and U2 was going to line up. And that's exactly what happened. It's tangible evidence. Kim Jean even showed you. He confirmed it. He had the same mouth. Bondo on the other side to confirm. Tangible evidence, like I said. And faith. Demonstrated. Recorded. Proven. <laughs> it's just what it is. Wow, man. So I get to be the, the, the guy to do this. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to the third time around because let's say I do it April 23rd, 2024. And I just did it February 17th. 2024. I, I mean, uh, let's say I do it, yeah, March 23rd, 2023, from February 17th, February to the 9th, 12, 12 days, 12 plus 23, 43, 40. 23, 43, 44, 45. So 45 days later, you're going to see me go into the art museum. So let me record this now. This is like a Christmas gift, right? Today is 3, 2, 2, 2024. 322-24. Matthew Daly crucified me for three hours exactly six years ago today. But it was on a good Friday, not a Saturday. I went into the art museum on Saturday. Uh, on this day, this was a Sabbath, to heal some blind people. You can stone me if you want, whatever. It's You're going to do good on the Sabbath or you're going to do bad. So at 1225 that I just showed you, which is Christmas, so it's like a gift. 
I'm one hour, 21 minutes, and 38 seconds, three-eighths, 121, three-eighths, on this day. And I'm going to go back to this. I'm, so I'm gonna, let me try to make this. Hey, Robin, you're in the future, right? All right. I want you to have such clear evidence because what I'm telling you is I already know what the future is. I'm going to prove it using you, my son, which is uh, someone who's in the future that has an experience what I'm already telling you is going to happen. You're going to go into the art museum. Uh, well, hold on. Let's check. Let's check and see what date that's going to be. What date will... What date is going to be uh, three, two, three, 2023 to three, two, three, 2024? What day is that going to be? 367 days. Oh, look at that. Because it's a leap year. Well, anyway. Okay. Well, that's perfect. It'll be on a Sunday. St. Patrick's Day. Huh? What? No, that's not it. 23. Alright, the 23rd is going to be on a Saturday. So it's the same thing as what just happened. When I went there... When this, this time here, it was a Thursday. It was a Thursday. So one, two, three, three days, three nights. Still would be if it's one full day, two full days, three full days, the 26th. Should be a Sunday. But this one would be a Sabbath, Saturday. Sabbath. Saturday, the 23rd, March 23rd. So I'm going to go on, Robin, you're going to go on March 23rd. Today is 3-2-2024, March 2nd. You're going to go in there at 3.30. 3.30, you're going to go in. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, no, hold on. Maybe I'm going to go in at 3 o'clock this time. I want to be a half hour earlier. That way I can stroll around for a half hour. All right. Robin, you're going to go in there at 3 o'clock. You're going to buy your ticket. You're going to go in there. You're going to stroll around for a half hour. And um, you're going to take your wife again because she's part of it. On her birthday, once again, this time around. She's going to finally get her gift. And you will too, because it will be the third time. And you're going to play a certain specific U2 song in a specific um, room number. Not sure what room number it is. Maybe it's 335, if I can see 335. And maybe I'll go in there at 335, if I can find room 3. I know 333 is there. So this is why i got to scope it out first. Uh, so when I get it all scoped out, I know exactly where to go. I'll be able to time it perfectly. And then from 3.35 p.m. on 3.23.2023, at least at 3.30, you got to be in the vicinity of the area. All right, Robin, you listen to me? Once you put on the recording of the X app live, you're going to walk through. And what you're going to show is the video that, because you have faith, you already know you have faith, you're going to show a video of whatever you're looking at with the imagery right here. And you two is going to be on this quarter, this uh, square. Your video is going to be on this square. It's going to be side to side. So do it like that, side to side. 
and record YouTube's video and then record your footage. Whatever song that is that you pick is going to line up live. And you're going to be able to point things out because you're going to be watching it clearly and you're going to slow it down so you can see it like this. Do it like that. Because that's how they're going to that's how they're going to um, take the it. I'm just telling you what they're doing. They're going to take the imagery from your from your footage and they're going to slow it down too because you're making it so much easier for them to line things up because you made it pretty difficult. You were on the fly a lot. So my faith tells me that that's going to happen on 323-2023. I'm going to go in there at 3 o'clock. At 3.30, I'm going to go into room. If I can find it, 3.35. Somewhere between 3.30 and 3.35 is going to be the room because it needs to be at the exact time that you're in. Whatever room I'm going to go into, it's going to be the exact time. How's that? So if I go into 3.33, it's going to be 3.33 p.m. and you're going to be able to see it because I'm going to flip the phone so you can see the time. Flip it back. Record it. And watch a miracle unfold in front of your face. But the timing of that would be so from 2.17 uh, Second month, 17th day of the month, when Noah entered into the ark, when it's 600 year. <clears throat> Did I miscalculate 45 days, 37 days, 36 days? Okay, so I guess I miscalculated. It'll be, how did I miscalculate? 23? Oh uh, yeah, I added an extra 10. All right, so it's not going to be 45 days, but it'll be three sixes. That's even better because the 17th day of the second month is when the second, you know, major, uh, whoa, happened on the 17th day. So if you figure one month and seven days later and three sixes later, 36 days later, You'll have the third. I mean, you're going to say, whoa. More than whoa, probably this time. It'll probably be, wow. You're going to add a W to the, uh, the W-O. And then you get to go back to this video from 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 24. At 139 and 40 seconds, 129 and 44 seconds, you're going to be able to go back to this video and confirm it and just drive the point home and drive it, drive it, just in the future. I can't wait for that day. I'm excited now because I know it's going to happen. What if it doesn't happen? What if it just does not happen? I don't see that. Would I be disappointed? Of course I would be. If I say this out loud and it doesn't happen, yeah, I'm going to be, for the first time ever since I went to the art museum recording the XF and something didn't line up, sure, I'd be disappointed. But there would be a message that I would figure out what that message would be. But at this point in time, um, the only way that it wouldn't happen is if the third woe already took place and it was the first time and the second time when my own footage lined up and then the third time with YouTube. But it only makes sense that it would be three YouTube sh uh, playing the YouTube song from the very beginning, random shuffle, eight songs of surrender on 323, 2023. And then second time around with YouTube playing a random shuffle which was the second month, 17th day of the month, February 17th, 2024. And the first two songs played God Part 2 and In God's Country, the first two songs. So the third 
time around would be another U2 song. And it would be in a three o'clock hour because it has to be the seventh angel begins to sound and there's a half hour of silence in heaven. A half hour because not only am I going to play U2, but I'm going to let it continue for a half hour straight. So if I start at 3, I just may start at 3.30 exactly into the exact room. I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm either going to start at 3 o'clock, look around for a half hour, and then start the clock at 3.30 and go into room 3.30. Maybe I'll find my way in the room 331, 332, a minute later, 333, a minute later, 334 and 335. Maybe I'll do that. But it'll be for a half hour straight. No, I think it's going to be at 330. I'm going to start it at 330. I know what. I'll go in for a half hour from 3 o'clock to 3.30 and scope it around then with my wife. Then, after a half hour, figure it out where I'm at. Then I'll push record. Then I'll put on the XF. Uh, then I will live stream it. Depending on if the live stream works because it may not be a very good connection with it wasn't the one time I was down at Beersheba. So I don't want to ruin I don't want to take a chance and ruin it, so I might want to have to go there and test it first. It won't count, though. I just want to test it and see if it works. But it makes more sense to do it at 3.30 because it's exactly a year later plus a day, a leap year, an extra day. And um, But it'll also be from 3.30 where I started off at, and then this time around I'll end it from 3.30 to four exactly and you'll have a half hour of just as you're gonna as you're watching it hopefully I can do it live if you're, as you're watching it you'll just sit there and just be quiet and just watch it for a half hour straight and just see it unfold in front of your eyes so there you go that's my faith let's see what happens